Hi guys, welcome back to another do-it-yourself video. It is Kyle from Regret of Pups, and we're going to be showing you how to convert the Nerf Blaster uh, that you see currently on screen to look a little bit more like this, which I think looks a lot better and closer to the screen use guns and props in the film, Rogue One. Uh, pieces you'll be needing are obviously the Nerf Rogue Blaster, ABS pipe, uh, that's 5 centimeters in diameter, um, Plasti Dip, silver paints red blue purple paints as well um some foam uh in one uh one centimeter thickness and one millimeter thickness thickness can't talk as well as um some toilet uh to uh toilet tubes connector pieces i don't remember the name I really should have wrote that down, uh, as well as a blue ABS cover cap. And but first, we're going to remove the pump action uh, mechanic of the gun to make it easier to take it off, as well as unscrewing everything. And then, just be careful. We're not going to have this firing at all, but remove the firing stuff and just be careful of the lights when you're taking it apart. But I'm going to be using my rotary tool or Dremel if you have yours, and using a sanding or cutting bit to break away that barrel section leaving just the the rail it's not the proper term but the section underneath the barrel for what was used to help pump the action of the nerf blaster and we're just showing you here it is the two halves together just be careful if your lights once again you want to still be able to use them uh, because we're going to be having that down the new barrel length now what you're going to want to do is cut your ABS to about 13 inches because the one that's currently on the gun was not long enough. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what we're going to be doing here, if you see on screen, from the tip of the barrel, you're going to use 6 centimeters for your first slot, 1.2 centimeters in between, and then 4.8, and then 1.2, 4.8, 1.2, 4.8 .8 centimeters for a total of four slots now in your ABS. Uh, I'm just going to be using a Dremel um, just for simplicity's sake. Please use a respirator mask because uh, the ABS heats up and melts and gives off these really odorous and possibly toxic fumes. While it's heated up and melted, I'm using a grinding bit that's close to the uh, diameter of the slots that I'm hoping to use or get. But while it's still hot the or melting the ABS, use something like a screwdriver to just help pull it out from the cuts. The slots you're grinding away at, that way it's easier for cleaning up. Because after that, we're going to be using, I used a variety of files, um, and ra uh, not rasp, but in sandpaper, and then afterwards I'm using 400 grit sandpaper to sand the outside of the barrel to be ready for priming for paint. Now for this section, using the, you're going to be seeing the toilet tubes, I'm just, I cut off those pieces, leaving the bolt section unharmed or uncut and then just squishing those back out so they're a little bit more cylindrical and then you want to cut as well a two to three inch ABS piece to go on the butt of the gun and you're going to obviously want to attach the blue cap on the end of it and right here we're just I am at least just figuring out the placement of these tubes to have the which would be in the movie an adjustable stock um it's not going to be adjustable for our, ours but for mine this is just what we're going to be doing um i didn't initially i didn't have them as in the right placement so i ended up moving them up and then afterwards i'm using one millimeter craft foam to cover the contour of those pieces that way it's a little bit better and prettier looking as well as it's more accurate to the film itself uh, make sure you start on the bottom that way it wraps around and finishes there because you will have a seam from this piece uh, but just make sure you use hot glue or plumber putty whatever it is to attach these pieces make sure it's done securely and then the foam will just cover it up now for this part of the build I am doing the end of the stock the butt of the gun and 
I'm doing it out of foam, about three pieces of floor mat foam at a height of um, ten and a half centimeters by seven centimeters wide. Um, I moments ago I had just shown the template and I just cut it in half and flip it, and then it's I will be wrapping it in one millimeter craft foam, uh, a few layers to a help cover the seams, build up the some of the detail because it's overlapping a little bit as well as it has a section on top of the piece of foam that would be overlapping the front and back of the butt of the foam a little bit and then there's a cutaway section that's placed on top so anyways just make sure you guys do that for your section of your build now for this section of build we are going to be building the ammo uh, piece that's on the left side of the gun as well as the Hengslert counter I don't know how to pronounce it, however for me I just use some pieces of foam, looks quite frankly like this piece. If you have a replica or something similar to it that you could use, go on right ahead and save you the effort and time. But for me, I, uh, just, I'm using foam board and some 1mm craft foam to build up this ammo section. It's a lot of trial and error of just figuring it out, building up layers. Uh, foam board may not be the best option of material, I probably use styrene. I haven't found an available source that is close to me, however, the reason I'm suggesting this is that uh, even though f foam board may be easier to sort out, uh, styrene won't have the issue of the exposed sides that the foam has uh, being like corrosive or broken down from any spray paints you may use. So that's another thing you may want to keep out with the materials you have on your hand. Um, just building it out and that with the foam board and then there's some strips detail strips i'll be using one millimeter craft foam as well as some excess cutoff pieces from the toilet tubes and some thinner one millimeter craft foam to add those detail i know it's not 100 percent accurate but it adds more to the depth of the piece uh, than what is initially there and then for the hanks link counter piece i just use some pieces of one centimeter thick foam, s stacked them three pieces, two to three pieces thick, scored in some lines, used a heat gun to seal it afterwards, and that part's unfortunately not recorded, but that's essentially why I used for the rest of this build. As well as not shown, unfortunately, is me connecting the barrel that we've done all the slots through to the front of the gun. I just used hot glue to connect that, and then there's some. Um, they get a foldable collapsible stock that I just use some foam um, as well as a sh sharpie that's glued to the side of the gun to mirror a flashlight as well as another tube that has wires glued into it um, that is mounted underneath the gun underneath the the grip and the collapsible stock um, so anyways, I hope you guys learn a few things. Uh, you can definitely check your reference pictures to get a better understanding of what I mean. I know unfortunately that piece of footage is not in this video, but I hope you guys have a good day and I see you around for part two.